Hello there guys, that's the guy at the 76 here today, and welcome to another episode of How to Build a Cruise Ship in Minecraft. This is episode 3, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So today we're going to be doing the superstructure. We're going to kind of work on the exterior a little bit uh, until we start on the interior. So let's go ahead and get started. So there's many types of exteriors or superstructures that you can do, and you're going to hear me or that term a lot. You're going to hear me say that term a lot, superstructure. What is the superstructure of a ship? Well, the superstructure is the upper half of the vessel. As you see, we built the hull, and it, vertically wise, there's two parts. The superstructure and the hull. Pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to do kind of a celebrity equinox, Norwegian epic, a little bit type of thing. It's going to be a little bit confusing, but just kind of bear with me. So uh, this right here is going to be one of our base decks. This deck is going to help us a lot in marking us everything. In fact, we're going to go ahead and just put a block right there just to remind us that there is a deck there because that can come uh, be very, very important. So we're going to go ahead and make the angle first. So. Usually, you know, you want to do about a 45 degree angle. You can go fancy and do different types of angles, but just for tutorial purposes, we'll do about something like this. So, uh, when you're doing this, you want to measure how many decks it's going, because you want to determine how many decks you want it to go until you add the bridge, which usually I would like to do about three or four. It depends how big the ship is. On this ship, I think I'm going to do three. That sounds just about right, and right there is where our bridge will be. So... What that means is that the sewer structure will go up to there until the bridge appears. And then we're going to... It's kind of a lower bridge, but that, that's just kind of like my style. I like lower bridges. So, um, now you build this part. So, this part is the front. So, this way you can do a lot of different ways. This is a really where the ship's face kind of comes. Uh, you know, if you do it, want to do it like this, you know, it'll be really, really round looking. More like Navigator of the Seas or Mariner of the Seas. Or you can do it, you know, a lot less flat, like, if you want to do this, you can do, like, two blocks at a time, and make it super flat, which is, like, kind of like Carnival Jubilee. You know, it's really up to you, but personally, I just kind of like it somewhat in the middle. So I like starting it out steep, actually, but then I like to kind of smooth it out and make it flatter as it goes. Kind of like the Norwegian Epic, like I said. I really do like that ship, although a lot of people argue it's ugly. And then you want to make sure that it lines up in the center line, which I do believe this is the center line. So then there we go. You don't have to worry about making the other side because, again, we're just going to flip that. So we'll get out our mighty axe and go ahead and copy and paste it. So this is one thing that's glorious about World Edit is that you can just, you know, yeah, you made your angle here earlier. So all you gotta do is just copy the line where you just put slash slash copy and then you can do slash slash paste. Uh, and I'll go ahead and do that really quick. Alright guys, so there we go. Now we have the basic kind of shape of the ship. Now you can make the superstructure go farther if you want, but since it is supposed to be kind of like a more of an ocean liner, we're going to leave a lot of the bow area open uh, so we can fit a helipad. But you can move it more forward, kind of like carnival ships, if you so wish to do that. Now you may be wondering, why did I leave a space right here? Well, the reason I left a space here is because you have to have a way to get back in the ship. And typically when you make a door like at an angle, like when it's at a steep angle like this, it just doesn't look good. And you know, you're going to have like a door piercing like halfway through and it's just gonna look awkward to be honest like I, that's really another common mistake that people make is that they just make doors with the slants I don't like that uh, and I'll show you what I'll do what I do so what you're gonna do here is go back about two blocks like that and you're gonna go ahead and make a wall and then make sure you line up with your deck as well which I actually think this is and you could be two blocks tall it really doesn't matter uh, just make sure you keep in mind that the deck starts right there so just Make sure you have that in your head while you're doing that. And then you just go ahead and fill in your wall and let me go ahead and time lapse it. All right guys, so now you can see that we have our nice little wall right there. And then you see you can make a, a nice doorway right there. So, you know, it doesn't have to look like derpy like on a slant, but you have a nice little doorway right there and it looks perfect. And you can always keep this slant here as well. Uh, I'm going to, just because I like how it has the metal, you know, you can kind of like make it go upwards if you want to make it kind of look like it's part of the ship. It's really up to you. So, I will go into detail on that a little bit later when we start adding more detail to the exterior. Uh, but hopefully that this clears some things up because I do see the error a lot. So, now we're going to go ahead and do the bridge. So, your bridge you're going to want to do at a slant. And I only do the bridges about two blocks tall. I used to do them three blocks tall, but not anymore. Uh, and I'm going to, you know, just because just it looks really, really big. And I really don't like that. But uh, it is your ship and you can do whatever you want. So you always want to move it one block ahead of the other block because it's going to look a little bit more professional, a little bit more like a real ship would. So you're going to do the same thing except just move it a block. You know, make the same pattern that you did. You can even world edit 
and copy and paste that one line. Uh, and then one thing you could do though is cut it off early, like just make it go straight like this if you want, which is what we're going to do. Uh, you know, you don't have to make it go all the way back here. So, and then you just have to add the base down here, and you know, it's all fine. So then, this is what's called a bridge wing. What a bridge wing is, is it allows the captain and the first officers basically to look down the side of the ship. Like this, so that when they're docking the ship, you can see it. In fact, you even want to plop a little window down there because, or you know, we're gonna get a normal glass one because that's more realistic. So you just put a window right there, and they can talk the ship a lot easier. So there you go. Now this can be flat if you want. It doesn't really matter if it's at an angle because it really varies what kind of ship you're making. But make sure that your bridge is at an angle. That is very, very crucial for making the bridge look good. Because I cannot tell you guys how many times I've seen a ship where the bridge is just like a straight line upwards, just like a glass wall, and it, it just really, really bugs me. So, let's go ahead and do this, like this. So, then, so there we go, like that, and as you can see, it's already starting to look like a ship. And then you want to add one more layer of wool on top of it. You can make it slant a little bit more, but that's a little bit overdoing it. It's going to look more or less like a fairy, but again, that is completely up to you up to the ship builder and you want to line it with wool and then what I like to do is go ahead and make one go bending one back like this it's kind of complicated I have to admit though making a Minecraft cruise ship is <laughs> a little bit difficult especially when it gets to this is more of the advanced stages so it's kind of hard to, to kind of get what I'm saying I guess so then there is that and then of course you're gonna this is where the was uh, can't speak today. No, this is where your line or your deck is going to be. So, you want to make the railing above it. So, I'm going to go ahead and fill this in right here, and I'll show you how to make your little railing because typically it is not iron. Uh, and that's one thing I would like to point out. So, I'm going to go ahead and get some iron and explain to you guys what not to do. This is a very good example. So, a lot, you know, a lot of times on the bridge, people will put stuff like this. They'll put like an iron fence and. I, I have never seen any cruise ship in the world ever have that. So please, please save yourself and don't do that. That is not okay. What you want to do is get maybe some quartz stairs. And this is going to give it its slanting effect. And you can go ahead and put it like right here. And this way, it's still that piece of metal sticking up and it's still at the slant. Let's keep going like this. Come on. There we go. And you also want to make it go out onto the wing. Make it turn back like that. So yeah, and then you see it does look a little bit tall, and you can go ahead if you want and add the quartz on the bottom if you so choose to, which we'll go ahead and do for demonstration. Uh, and this is a really, again, a really hard part to do with the bridge is try to determine what looks good and what doesn't, you know. So it really, uh, it really doesn't, it's really just hard to explain. I mean, it really is. And you know, one thing is that, yeah, the top looks a little bit too tall, so you can either make this other layer glass, or sometimes you can put an overhang like this, like a shield kind of blocking the sun, which I've seen on some cruise ships, and then, you know, you can do that, which is what we're going to do. Uh, you know, just, just add the detail. The detail really does make cruise ships. You really do, you really need to do that. That is, I can't explain how important that is that you do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and make this go out like one block. Go ahead and do that. Add our wind visor right there. Do that. I don't like that. So then there we go. Now we have our bridge wing. So, that now we're not done though. So, now we need to add the decks above it, because there's still going to be decks above it. You know, because it is a cruise ship, you know, still need to, still need to make a, a lot of room for people. So you're just going to continue our line that we made earlier, and just keep going up, and go as high as we want to go. And then you also, if you want, you can start slanting out like this, because you don't want the whole ship to be at a 45 degree angle, or else it's going to look kind of awkward. So we'll go ahead and do something like that. So it looks somewhat normal. And let's see. So this is gonna be our so this is our deck right here. So we'll just put an indicator right there. And we'll go ahead and put another indicator right here. And this is also gonna be the balcony room lines, so you know what the balcony rooms are. Uh, and there we go. So we'll go ahead and start with that. So yeah, and then we have we have that kind of deal going on. Which is actually an interesting looking cruise ship. So we're gonna go ahead and copy the line we made earlier because we can, and it's just not cheating. Go ahead and copy it. We're gonna go do the same thing we did earlier. We're gonna skip a line, that, or skip a couple lines though, so we can keep our little table right there. Or not our table, what am I even thinking? So we're gonna go ahead and go two up, and we're gonna start pasting it again. Paste, paste, and you know, just nice and simple. 
And we also can maintain the same shape throughout the ship. So then, you know, there you go. And then again, you can do the same thing, which we'll do a little bit later. I'll do probably in my free time. You'll go ahead and add the walls as well, so that you can add your doors and all that fun stuff. So, uh, let's go ahead now and start beginning our balcony rows. So this is where the balconies on the cruise ship are going to stand. Maybe not this deck. This deck's probably going to be a promenade. So we'll go ahead and continue this uh, down the length of the ship. Alright guys, now that we have that going down the length of the ship, we're going to go ahead and bring this. So, this is going to be our spa deck. Those are the spas going to be. And usually on cruise ships, this does not run the entire length of the ship. So we're going to probably go maybe a quarter way-ish. Like maybe about right there. And we're just going to go ahead and let this thing kind of just slant down uh, into the ship. Because we don't need that deck anymore. So then it kind of adds like that cruise ship shape, you know. So, it, it's, it's pretty cool looking. And you can always add yourself some decks up here, which we may do later once we get the basic ship done, but that is for a later episode. Uh, and then, again, we just take our little indicators right here. This is where the balconies are going to line up. So we always want to make them even, so we can just world edit it all the way down. In fact, I should have thought of that before I did that time lapse right there. Uh, but, keep doing that. Ever indicators. Now, here's one part, though, that you need to pay attention to. A boat does need lifeboats. The ship is not an excuse, or not an exception. This ship does, in fact, need lifeboats, so we do need to make stations. So usually, I'm going to reserve two decks for that. So, something like that. So then, this is going to all be lifeboats. So this is going to be balcony, or this might be rooms or windows. Who knows what that's going to be, and this will just be strictly lifeboats. And this ship will have about three balcony decks. It's a little bit low riding of a ship, but it really doesn't matter. So we'll go ahead and take uh, those points. And we'll go ahead and stack it about maybe, I don't know, 140. And then, and then we'll see, you know, there's our basic ship. That's what our basic ship's going to look like, which looks pretty cool so far. Now, you gotta also keep in mind that you can add detail throughout your ship. You know, it doesn't just have to be boring. Uh, you can always add a center atrium. You can always make it indent. You can make the balconies indent. You know, really whatever you want to do. So we're going to go ahead and add a center atrium or a glass atrium type thing because just for the sake of the tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and make like a little circular type thing right here. It'll do that right there. Go ahead and count to make sure it's even. That's about four. So it's four blocks and then two. Make sure you always keep count. One, two, three, four. And then one, two. You can go ahead and fill it in for the time being, just so you have a little bit of reference. And remind yourself that that is, in fact, a deck. And then, ladies and gentlemen, all you have to do is just copy this and paste it on the other decks. And it's pretty straightforward. So, go ahead and, oops, position two. Go ahead and copy it. Also, we don't have this deck, but you can make an exception for the lifeboat decks. You can go ahead and end the deck, like, right there. So you have two sections. Oops, come on. Ah, Minecraft, why do you do this? Alright. And then you just go ahead and find our indicator, which is right there. So we know where to paste it. Like this. And then, so slash paste. And then, paste. Oops, that one went one too high. And see, again, this is like, you'll notice I do a lot of mistakes. And then, you know, there's a reason I don't edit this out, and it's because you will come across mistakes. You know, your ship, I promise you, will never be perfect the first time. You know, if it is, then you're a liar, because it won't. I promise you. So you always gotta pay attention to that stuff. And, then, you know, sure enough, there we go. We have our little center atrium. And, you know, we'll fill that with glass a little bit later when the time comes. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side with our little lifeboat stations. And we're gonna continue it, so that's three blocks. So, we'll go ahead and one, two, three... And then our lifeboat stations will continue down the ship like that. And then we keep going. In fact, we'll go ahead and go all the way back to the stern. And we're gonna go ahead and time set day. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Alright. What? Times set. Wow, well, okay, good job. Alright. So, stack probably 20. Nope. Alright, a lot more than that, I guess. 50. Yeah. This is a problem. Alright, well, actually, no. Let's do it right here. Because this is where the lifeboats will end. Because, like I said, they don't go all the way down the ship. So then we can see our little lifeboat rectangle right there. And our three balcony decks. And then we come to the back of the ship. And you can go ahead and start making your stern. Now, with this ship, I'm going to make more of a square stern. So it goes with our squarish type of hull. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, 
Now, again, you know, with the stern, you do want to make sure that it's at the same angle, or else the ship's just going to look flat-out sloppy. And, you know, you don't want your, your ship to turn out sloppy, especially when it's been, you know, when it takes forever to build. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So, we line this with this. And then we're going to do our 45 degree angle like we did on the bow because 45 degree sterns are really, really typical and more than likely that's what you're going to be building if you're building any, really any cruise ship probably. So continue to go upwards, up, up, up. And you'll see it starts lining up with the stern that we made, like with all these different lines, and you'll see your cruise ship like that. Go ahead and complete this line and make sure it comes all the way over here like that. Oops, and we also need that one. That one's kind of important. Never leave one line behind or else you might get off track. So keep doing this, like that. And then there we go. We can see the back of our ship. It does look basic, but I'm trying to go for a retro type ship here, so bear with me if you will. And then again, we'll go ahead and make more of our square stern. It doesn't have to line up perfectly with this. In fact, I recommend it doesn't, so at least ship has a little bit of detail. Or as someone would say, character. <laughs> if they were watching this, they know exactly who they are. So again, all we gotta do is with the Lucky World edit, just copy it, find our find our next line, and paste it. And find the next line. And paste. So there we go, and now we can see our stern, and then you can start making modifications all you want. Just like this. This looks a little bit too square, so I'm just gonna break off just one block. And it's gonna look a little bit more rounded off. Because you don't want it too square, because then it's gonna look newbie. But you, if you look, make it look just the way you want it, then it'll look good, just like that. Because then, then people can tell it's supposed to be kind of retro and modern, yet at the same time, uh, you know, it's a little bit rounded at the sides, and it looks like you know what you're doing. So then, this is our basic superstructure. So, what we, one thing we are going to do though is that we want to add usually another superstructure or another building right here because we don't want the ship just to have like one building in the front and that's it. Which is simple, yeah, I gotta do is just do this. And it is pretty straightforward. We'll keep going this way. Da, 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 da. And you're gonna wanna stop it so we have enough room for a pool deck because this is going to be our kind of like Lido Cafe, if you will. And I'm basing this a little bit off of Carnival Ship, so that's just, I'm a, I'm a Carnival fan, so what do you expect? So we're gonna stop it right by here so we can give ourselves a lot of room to work with our pool deck and make it look spectacular, just like that. Um, so yeah, but now, really all we gotta do is just start making our lines across. Which, mean, which what I mean by our lines across is just, you know, our deck lines right here. Which we'll go ahead and just make kind of squarish for the time being. I think that's just about center. I hope it is at least. We'll go ahead and go over here and make our other line. Now this one I'm going to make more kind of straight because I want to do something with this. And I'll show you guys when, we, when the time comes to it. So about center. These don't really matter if they're center or not because these aren't the lines you're really going to go off of. And over here we're actually going to do kind of like a resort style pool. Uh, I, I am kind of basing this off the Magic class if that's what you guys are wondering. Because I, I know some of, the, some of you ship fans out there might know what I'm doing here. So go ahead do that. And we have our center lines. Of course we'll add another building on the top to put the funnel under. But that's, that's for a later episode like I said. Uh, and then yeah, so we'll add more as we go, but now all we gotta do to finish our basic superstructure is really the world edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and set our positions, keep going, and just like we've done for the past couple episodes, we're gonna go to the very front, or we're gonna go to the very edge of the ship, which in this instance is the wing. Go ahead and drop all the way down, just to make sure we are perfectly on center, and these shaders are making it hard. So we go right about here. Go ahead and go up, all the way up. This is going to be a really big world edit, so some of y'all's computers may not be able to handle it. That's okay, just do it in smaller chunks. We're going to set our first position right there. We'll go all the way to the back of the ship. And set our second position. So there we go. So now we have it, so... We're going to go all the way back to the wheelhouse again, because that's where you're going to want to copy it. Because like I said in the past two episodes, you want to copy it from the farthest point so that it copies over just fine. So, keep going. This is a really long ship, I'll give it that. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. But hey, I guess the bigger the better, isn't that right? I guess the more episodes you guys get to see. So, in all in all, that's pretty good. So go ahead and go our, to our farthest point. Copy 
You want to flip it in the direction that we're flipping it, like that. Make sure you stay on this line. More than likely, you probably won't get world at the first time. If I get it right the first time, that's just because I'm experienced with it. And then we're going to go ahead and slash slash paste. Wait for it to load. And as you can see, I did not hit that right on the first time. So we're going to go ahead and go up and see what I did wrong. Oops, I don't, didn't make an indicator. Oopsie. But I think I actually just made it one, two. I, my, uh, see, there's another problem. It's just like really, really hard. So I think that's right about it. I hope that that's it. Go ahead and double check. And yeah, so that is it. So then you can see the basic ship coming out. And you know, we'll make it we'll make it look better. You know, right now it looks a little bit derpy, but you know, of course it'll get better as the time goes on. But right now that is just a basic superstructure of the ship, so no need to worry. So thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you think of the series in the comment section below. I really do like the support off this series I've gotten. You guys really have been awesome about liking and subbing and you know even viewing like wow these videos are getting a lot of views and I enjoy making these things as long as you guys enjoy watching them. So thank you guys so much for watching and as always have an awesome day. Oh, <laughs>